the value chain analysis really is a way, as opposed to a supply chain, which really only talks about you grow the crop, you produce the crop, you sell the crop, and it's over. The value chain really begins to hook together our entire state, which is why food and ag is now a key industry. Because I don't even think the state recognized how deeply involved agriculture was across all the 15 industries. So the value chain is a conversation. It's a conversation about not only how food is, is grown and how the production is done, it's a conversation about what happens to it and what does that create. It creates restaurants, it creates biomedical, it creates research, it creates all of the different pharmaceuticals that come along, but it creates jobs and it creates communities. And so this is a conversation about how agriculture really underlies the entire state. And Dr. Graff and Becky are going to need help from Extension agents to answer questions about businesses in your community, what your community is doing, you know, the San Luis Valley and the research going on in the potato industry, the issues with obesity that it, on the Eastern Plains and, and um, the work that MCR is doing, looking at juvenile diabetes. All of those things come back to land. They come back to land and they come back to agents that have the information to reach into the university and answer those questions. One thing that I'd like to make sure people know is if, uh, <coughs> if Dr. Graff contacts you for information, uh, he's working on the value chain analysis. If you have any questions, please call myself or Jennifer. And I've told you Dr. Graff will be calling. But he, she has, he has a PhD student and her name is Becky Goldbach. So when you see an email from her or a phone call from her, please answer. Please help them out with as much information as possible.